Hello everyone, it's Kiona. So I thought I would show you guys how I make my stuffed pineapple recipe is really good so and really easy. So hopefully you'll like that. And also I've been working on my next DIY project, the board and batten wall. This project should have taken like a half a day, but I've been working on it for two weeks, almost finished, but I just haven't had the time to go back and do the final touches on it. But I'll show you where I left off. Okay, so stay tuned. So here's where I left off with the DIY project. I will probably show you a before and after picture. This is my husband's uh, man cave. So um, there's a lot of work to do in here, but I wanted to um, tie this room in with the rest of the house. Oftentimes when people come up here, we're gonna be doing some paneling because he likes the red brick wall. But oftentimes when people come up here, they're like, this looks like a totally different house up here and it does and it should but um the i have the square board and batten wall design downstairs so i thought i would put it on one of his walls so we can tie it into downstairs and we're going to do this paneling on one side of the room over here because he's a new yorker and they like that um he likes that red brick wall look so i'll be working on that but here is the board and back wall i just have to do the caulking um the caulking will full like and fill in the space right there in between the wall and then i'm gonna paint it i'm still designing deciding on the color um so i'm choosing between some of these browns definitely not anything over here probably something on the lighter side over here so that's what i'm working on next for the board and batten wall. So let's get to cooking. So for the stuffed pineapple recipe, you'll need pineapples. You'll need your choice of protein. Um, I chose to use this beef steak that is pre-cooked from Walmart, but you can use whatever meat that you choose. You will need rice. Um, I often will use cauliflower rice, but since my sister is coming over and she refuses to even try it, I'm going to actually do jasmine rice. Um, you also need um, bell peppers. I'm using orange and red and an onion. The seasonings that I will be using will be lime juice. I also be using some salt cilantro um, it will be better if you use fresh cilantro i just didn't have any i also be using um, minced garlic and some olive oil as well as a pinch of red pepper flakes so the first thing i will do is prepare the pineapple there are several ways that you can do this depending on the number of people and the number of pineapples that you have for two people, I'm just going to use one pineapple per person. Um, the way to cut it is I'm just going to cut off enough of it so that I can remove the inner part of the pineapple. Again, the pineapple will be used as a bowl. So I'm just going to use this large knife. I forgot what it's called, but I'm going to use this large knife to cut just um just enough of the pineapple off so that i can remove the inner part of it next i'll use a smaller knife to cut the inside of the pineapple the first thing i'll do is i'll cut it in um, a circular shape um, and then I'll cut slices in between so that I can begin to remove the core of the pineapple. It won't look pretty at first, but we'll get to that part next. So after I cut the pineapple um, circularly, I started to slice the middle and then I had to slice diagonally so that I can start to remove some pieces out of the middle of the pineapple. I'm actually saving these larger pieces of pineapple to cook with the dish. Um, but after I get those out, I use a ice cream scooper to scoop out the middle um, to clean it up so it would be more bowl-like. And the ice cream scooper worked wonderfully. So 
next I'm going to chop up the vegetables. Um, with my bell peppers, I chop off the top and then remove the inner seeds out of the main part of the bell pepper. I also don't like to waste the bell pepper, so I'll remove um, the little stem piece off the top of it. Um, I saw this somewhere, just push it out and that way I can use the rest of the bell pepper if it's good. And then um, I'll also chop up the onion. I had some leftover yellow pepper from another dish that I'm going to add to this one. And as I said in another video, um, anytime I can add shrimp to a dish, I always indulge. And so that's what I'm going to do with this dish. I will add shrimp to it as well. Um, and here you'll see me just chopping up vegetables. So one of the best habits that I've formed while cooking is to wash the dishes as I go. So I'm gonna wash a few dishes before moving on to the next step. I found this thyme flavored olive oil at Home Goods, and I thought it would be fun to try out and see if there's a difference in the taste. So that's what I'm using in the pan right now. You're gonna see this pan a lot. I love one pot, one pan meals, so I'm going to use it throughout uh, this recipe, I'll wash it and reuse it just because I like to use it as the least amount of pots as possible. But I'm going to roast these pineapples. I love the taste of roasted pineapples. Um, probably tastes a little bit better if you add a little sugar to it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick them in the olive oil and cook them on both sides and stick, to, stick them to the sides to have with the rest of the dish. roast your pineapples just let them get brown on both sides you can add a little sugar if you want to otherwise just brown them on both sides and take them out and there you have it they're really pretty and they're really good So here's this pan again. I have washed it and I'm going to put some more olive oil in the pan and I'm going to stir fry the vegetables. So I'm adding all of the bell peppers and the um, onions and the shrimp. Usually I will cook all of the vegetables for a while and then I'll just add the meat in with it. But my sister does not eat shrimp. She doesn't eat onions or peppers, so I'm just doing it separately. But if you like all those things together, you can just add the meat to this portion as well. Next, I am stir frying the beef steak. You can definitely use fresh beef steak to cook here. I just, I'm just not very good at cooking red meat, so I avoid it. I think this is pre-cooked, so all I'm doing is stir frying it um, and warming it up. I'm adding red pepper flakes to the beef steak as well as salt and pepper for taste, and um, it doesn't take long to cook. So lastly, for my rice, I'm doing the cilantro lime rice. It is a dupe of the chipotle rice. I found a, uh, a YouTuber who um, showed me how to do this. And so basically, I am just going to cook the rice as usual. And then once the rice is done, I am going to put it in a bowl. I'm going to add olive oil and salt to it, as well as the lime juice. You can also use fresh limes. And again, if you have fresh cilantro, it makes it taste a world of difference. It is so similar to the chipotle rice when you use the fresh 
cilantro, but I didn't have any today. So I just had to use the cilantro that I had in the cabinet and it will have to suffice for now, but definitely the fresh cilantro is better. So once you do all of that, you just mix the rice together and voila. And so now here comes the fun part, stuffing the pineapple. Um, before I began stuffing the pineapple, I actually roasted it. And you'll see that the pineapple is like a little roasted. I just put it upside down in the pan so it can cook a little on the side. But you can stuff it in whatever order you want. I am beginning with my rice and then the beef steak. And then I'll go in with the um, bell pepper, onion, and shrimp mixture for my husband. And for my sister, I will just not put the bell pepper and onions in hers. On the side, I am putting those roasted um, pineapple pieces and we'll add um, some parsley just for coloring. Um, I love to serve this dish on cutting boards just because, I don't know, it's different, it's creative, and it just won't fit on a plate. So this is what it looks like uh, when it's done. So one of the things that my husband Vince loves to remind me of regarding my cooking is you've come a long way <laughs> and he's right I have um, come a long way since we started dating I just found a way to have fun in the kitchen and most importantly for me is just to be creative come up with creative dishes that look good and taste good also so let me know if you decide to try this recipe and comment below how it turns out for you don't forget to look out for my next DIY video which will be the board and batten wall I'll be putting that up soon and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and like and thanks for watching mm -hmm.